What's up guys, Matt Moan is here, back again with another video, and this time it's about a product called the Cinema Mount. And basically what it does is it takes your smartphone camera and turns it into the ultimate smartphone camera. So without wasting any further time, let's find out if the Cinema Mount is worth the purchase. This is the Cinema Mount, which is meant to transform your smartphone into a cinema camera. It's black, rugged, and looks like a very serious piece of equipment. In the box comes a wide angle lens, macro lens, filter holder, a blue filter, gray filter, cold shoe mount, and a lens cover. You pretty much have everything you need to take some awesome photos with your smartphone. To use the Cinema Mount, all you have to do is simply snap your phone into the bracket and adjust the lens to line up with your phone's camera. The Cinema Mount has all the bells and whistles to take professional photos, such as a level to help you align your shots, a cold shoe mount to attach a light or microphone, a place to screw it into a tripod, and finally two handles to keep your phone steady while shooting video. Pixel Addicts has also added a nice rosewood handle on the left side of the mount to make it easier to hold. So right now this portion of the video is being recorded with the Cinema Mount with the LG G4 inside of it. So as you can see, you get all of the couch in the picture and you can obviously see a lot more of my surroundings. Now I'm gonna stop quickly and I'm gonna take the lens off so that you guys can see the difference. So here's what the video quality looks like without the wide angle lens. Obviously you cannot see the whole couch as you did before, you see a lot less of it and it doesn't get as much of the shot into the frame. But the cinema mount also comes with two filters allowing you to add some flavor to your shots. Here's what the blue filter looks like. And finally, here is what the gray filter looks like. As you can see, they both don't really add much value, and for the most part, I'd probably never use them. Next up is macro photography, which allows you to get those nice close-up shots. The first thing you have to do is unscrew the wide-angle lens from the cinema mount, and once it's off, you're ready to get your macro game on. Here are some shots showing you how cool some of these photos look. As you can see, the macro lens is definitely the most impressive part of this mount. It takes some really nice close-ups, allowing you for some pretty cool pictures. Finally, my favorite thing to use this camera mount for is Periscope. Periscope shows everything in portrait mode, and usually you're mostly using the front-facing camera. Because of this, the view is quite limited, but pop on the wide-angle lens and the viewers are able to see more of your surroundings. If you're a hardcore Periscope or Meerkat user, then this mount is awesome for this reason alone. I didn't mention too many negatives about this mount, and for the most part, there's not too much, but I did notice a little bit of a blur effect around the photos, and because I was using the LG G4, I was getting this black kind of blur effect on the top-hand corner of the screen. Now, this is probably due to OIS, or possibly because the LG G4 has a curved screen. Now, I did try this mount with other phones, such as the Alcatel Idol One Touch 3, uh, the Asus Zenfone 2, and even the LG G3, and everything seemed to work fine. So what's the bottom line? Is the cinema mount worth the purchase? And I think that really depends on your needs. If you're someone new to photography and you're just learning the basics and don't want to invest in an expensive DLSLR, then this might be worth it for you. Especially now that smartphones allow you to do a lot of things that involve manual controls. Now, for me, it's a good backup camera if I forget my pocket camera, and it allows me to take a few different types of shots that you really couldn't do just using your smartphone. Now, it's not going to improve the actual overall picture quality of your photos, but it's definitely going to give you a lot more exposure to the different types of shots you can do. But the biggest bonus to the camera mount, for me at least, is the ability to improve my periscope experience. Anyone who's watching me on periscope will get a much better viewing experience because they'll be able to see more of my environment. Now the Pixel Addict Cinema Mount does cost $150. Let me know what you guys think of this mount and whether or not it's worth the purchase. I just wanna thank everybody for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see everybody in the next video.